Yo, what's going on guys? Tony here coming at you with another For Honor video. This one's going to be focusing on the new character, the Gladiator, that is available now for Season Pass owners. I'll have one up for the Highlander in the next day or two. Um, so basically, I'm in here in the How to Play just to show you guys a quick overview of his moveset. This video, I kind of want to hope on giving you my first impressions, uh, play style, how I think you need to play him, and just get some overall gameplay out for you guys. So, the Gladiator has a lot of stamina. You can chain many attacks together. You can, you know, obviously he's quick feigning, quick, quick attacks. You can do, you know, whiff tech a lot, you know. It's, it's pretty crazy, the stuff that you can actually do with him. He's got a stab into the toe, which is very good. A lot of people aren't wary of it. His zone is insane because if the first attack hits, it's guaranteed for the second attack. You can also dash punch with him, which is very good, and then follow up with the heavy like that. Except with the dash ones, you can actually faint the heavy. So you can go into something like a guard break. Those are always really good. You can also follow up any combo chains like ending. You can end it with a spear. So it looks something like this. So you can do something like that uh, to where you get a bleed off on them or you can actually throw them into a wall and then you can get like more bleeds off. So you can pitch them over like that, but it's it's pretty good. A lot of people see it coming though. Um, so that one's kind of not that great, but you can dodge and do attacks as well. So he's just got a just a lot of mix-up potential in him, and he's he's pretty fun to play so far. He's got a quick play style that that is quite enjoyable. So I'll go into some games right now, so you guys can get an overall uh, feel of it, see what I, what stuff I've picked up, and then at the end of the video, I'll give my overall impressions on the character as a whole. All right, first game is going to be going up against a Highlander. One thing that I've noticed with Highlander is that he has very ridiculous tracking on his attacks. I feel like it's more tracking than any other character in the game. So you really need to watch out for him. And he has a lot of attacks that give him hyper armor, so he's uninterruptible. So you really need to watch out for those as well, too. So we're going to just go in here, play it out. We'll try to do it. What I like to do is do some dodge attacks and feints. So. Go into there. Stab into the foot. We'll walk up. We'll do the zone. We'll, we'll dodge out to the left. Feint. Nice. And then we can do a, a dash, faint into there, GB. Good stuff. This is a pretty dope execution as well. His, his base executions are pretty nice. Push it in there right there. Real, real noise. And you also get the smoke effect with having the season pass. It's kind of cool. I wouldn't say it's awful. It's pretty nice. And you get this little ornament with the season pass too. It's, 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 it's pretty sweet. Um, my man's got swole ass thighs, that's for damn sure. You can also do the sprint attack, which I'm about to do. And if it misses, you can follow up with a punch, which is kind of cool. So you're kind of less punished. Oh man, I messed that up really badly. He's got very good tracking, like I said. I feel this guy doesn't know how to use him yet. Um, we'll do a dodge, punch to heavy. So this is the other execution right there. Just kind of flips him over while stabbing him in the chest. It's pretty ridiculous. He's definitely a, a menacing looking human being. And look at how he sprints. Look at how angry that looks. It's like a Mack truck coming to run your whole family over. It's menacing. I haven't tried him out on 4v4, so this will be a first experience for us as well. I played a couple games with on, him on uh, on stream, so I, I know a little bit of his play style. So we'll go. Let's see what we can do here. That's not what I wanted to do. That is a move that is very good. Okay. Man, I I wanted to do the uh I want to try to get the Hmm. If I die, it's fine. I'm just trying to test something out. I just wanted to show the uh the bleed if I can get it off. Damn it. 
I couldn't get it. That was me being cocky. I could I could have easily 3-0'd that, but I was just trying to mess around there. It's pretty hard to get the actual uh get the bleed off. The skewer, as they call it. Um it's at the end of a combo chain, and the, the quickest combo chain you can do is either a uh two lights or a I don't think you can do a single light into it. I'm not 100 percent sure. Oh, you can. Okay, I think you can. Never mind. So if I get a single light off. There you go. There's the bleed. And then I can go top. Okay. Parry that. Get the heavy off. So, it's decent. Um, can get parried pretty well. Oh, man. Knock him out right there. And then we'll go faint. Faint, faint there. He's got really quick attacks. So, that should have been a 3-0, but I just wanted to try to show off the thing. I didn't... In my head, I was thinking that I had to do two, and then it was ending, but after a heavy or a light attack, you can you can end it off like that. But he has so many combo chains that you can throw in a skewer just randomly on an opponent who's not necessarily uh, ready to see it. So, I'll try to do some, some crazy stuff uh, next game to try to see if I can do anything. I don't know if this guy wants to rematch or not, but we'll see. Okay, so the guy that we played before did not want to rematch, so we're going up against someone different, and we're going to be going on to Tower Ruin, which has been changed, and it's so much nicer now. Oh my gosh, it used to be like the worst map to play duels on, but now it it feels a lot better. They changed the top uh, tower part of the map to now it's like in a courtyard, and they blocked off some of the places you can get ledged, so they made it a whole lot better. This guy, playing the Highlander, rocking the kilt. Um, if, if there's one thing, like I mentioned before, that I noticed is that his tracking is redonkulous. Like, no joke. So, we gotta try to... That is... Oh my god. This dude is dicking us. Man, he still gets to go through that. Let's see what we can do here. Can we go in with the zone? All right. Nice. Oh, feels bad, man. That's a feels bad, man moment. I didn't get the dash after. I wasn't in range for the uh, the guard broke. So that's an unfortunate, definitely. I'm not going to win all of these games because I'm obviously very new to the character and I haven't learned all of the ins and outs and, and what's good and what's not good, what's optimal, all that heebie-jeebies. Um, I should have gotten that jab off, though. I didn't do it right after the parry. So we're going to do this. Oh, I thought I could throw him off. Get the hit on that. And then he's dead. That was a pretty good round. I'm going to stick to parrying because they haven't changed parrying yet. So if they do, I'll get probably a different controller so I can get better at deflecting. Because right now, it's a it's it's a pretty bad, I will have to say. It's, qu it's quite bad, my deflect game. But parrying is, is a lot easier for me just because of the way my hands are on the controller. And this is the... The map that they switched with being up in the top right there. So we're in a courtyard instead, and it's pretty darn cool, if I would say. Get the zone there for free. Nice, now we're out of stam, though. So he has this weird, like, grab thing that's got ridiculous. Okay, so we're going to go. Okay, never mind. We got the kill. He's got this weird grab, and it, it tracks, like, across, and you can't tech out of it. The only thing you can do is dodge away, but the range is so, like, it varies. Like, it seems like you, you dodge out of it one time, but then you dodge the same distance another time, and it gets you. I'm not too sure how exactly it works, but it's it's very interesting, to say the least. Oh, 
Nice. What do we gotta do? Nice. Oh my god, not again! see what we can do stab in the toe into the zone oh man that was so close just a little tick right there and we would have had her boys we would have darn dare had her I feel like I've been able to mix a lot of people up with the gladiator with fainting as well it seems to work pretty pretty decently because then you can like just you can go into a lot of different shits Let's see what we can do here. Boom. Get that out. Wait for him to do his... That's unfortunate. What? I blocked all of those. Boom. Toe stab for the victory. Let's go. The only thing you can do with the toe stab as well is dodge out of the way. It's relatively easy, I think, to see the animation, but if someone throws it out randomly, you're not necessarily going to grab it or uh, react to it all the time. Um, it is relatively hard to react if it's just thrown randomly, but a lot of times, especially if you're out of stam, you'll see people spam it. So I find that it's it's pretty good to um, go for GBs as well when people are out of stand because that throws them off as well. We'll happen to a 2v2 right now and then a 4v4 and then, like I said at the end, we'll give my overall Im first impressions of the character. Alright, in the 2v2 match, we got ourselves and another end of Highlander going up against, I think someone's on their team was named George Lopez, so if that's the case... George Lopez used to watch that show back on Nickelodeon all the time, dude. They used to be the best. So, oh, instead we're going up against a Centurion and a Shinobster. Okay, I can dig it. All the DLC characters in one game. That's pretty cool. So, I'm on par with my ally and slightly higher than my enemy, so I guess that's a good sign, but that, I guess, doesn't really mean shit. I think we'll be definitely easier to go up against the shinobi maybe i'm talking out of my ass we'll have to see all right bring the centurion over here really get that toe stab all right That's the play right there, boys. That's what I like to do. It's really good to get the um the punch into a heavy faint guard break. It seems to work a lot of the time. Tricks a lot of people up. Because that's known like to you know, you get like it's like a chain basically to do that. Because you know it gets blue, so it's obviously in part of the chain, but if you just Oh, it's very good. Very, very nice. Toast step! I'm gonna toe stab this dude. What? It doesn't work. I can't toe stab him. I literally like stab through his penis. All right, going up against the Shinobi. But let's see what we can do here. Really? You got that GB off on me? Ooh, jeez, I was clenching right there. He got a lot of damage off on me. I didn't realize his GB was going to go through on that, so. We managed to destroy this Centurion, but the Shinobi proved to be more difficult, I guess. Different from what I was initially expecting. Let's see. 
Oh, Highlander could be dead. Yep, he's dead. Just want to go over here to get a little bit more room. Alright, let's see what we can do. Oh my god, I should have known. It's so difficult for them to faint those. Like, right up on reaction like that. Oh my goodness, I'm so upset. I should have known. I should have tried to deflect it. I don't know if you have to hold it in the direction for this character. I don't think for assassins you do. What is the tracking on that bad boy? Oh my god, am I dead? Let's back up. Ooh. Ooh. Another butt clenching moment right there, guys. Holy crap. That one was that one was really tense. I know I'm going super quiet. I'm really trying to focus up. Because I don't want to seem like a bad player playing these characters on release. Okay. Good parry. Not what I wanted to do. Oh, what? Okay, I'll just do dodge attacks, I suppose. And that'll work. <laughs> That's not what I wanted to do. I wanted to try to go for a skewer on that one. Um, but yeah, guys, I if I have like any combat tips, just in general while we're waiting here, is his zone can be canceled, and it's also very good, especially if you get on hit. But if you see you like whiff the first one, you can just come back with like a light attack after and really fake out your opponent, and I think you can still combo chain. Yeah, so like you could theoretically like go in, can't oh you could cancel you know toe stab or into a skewer could anything like that we did decent we went four and one not too bad uh hopefully we will be able to polish up our gameplay because there's definitely some mistakes that we've seen and people are going to get better against facing them a lot of people just don't necessarily know the play styles right now so we'll hop into a 4v4 i have yet to play him in a 4v4 but i can't imagine he's super bad I think he'd be just just decent in a in a Dominion game, so we'll we'll go into one of those and see how we do. Okay, well that's interesting. I got into the game and everybody on the other team is gone. What can you expect with uh with four honor, right? I mean nothing better. The four v four is still a little little shaky, let's say. Um, here on Sanctuary Gate, I don't I don't think Gladiator is going to be that amazing in four v fours. I think it'll be okay. Um, hopefully they get some people to join in here. Because right now we're just uh, kicking some bots ass. Get that. Give me that. I want a heavy. I want a heavy. Oh god. They're back. Do I not get a kill? I didn't get a kill. Hey, let's go. Alright, they got two back so far. Okay, let's get out of here real quick. Get our stand back. Ow, why are you hitting me, Shigoki? I'm on your side. Alright, let's go up here to A. We don't have much health, though, so this could be a, a, lay, a lay ruse. Help! 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 Running away. Running away. I know I'm a bitch, but I'm running away. Let's uh let's heal up real quick. Thank you for pardon pardon the uh the seas for me there, guys. We just we were in no no uh no match right there. Boost this for a second. 
They made the points go up way slower from boosting now. I know I'm noticing that just by looking. Wait for that to come out. Okay. It has been replaced by a bot. Interesting. Interesting game so far. Still haven't been a oh I do have two takedowns. You got 39 points. You boys killing the game. Goodbye, bot. I'm sorry I had to do it to you. Oh, let me get over here. Let me let me let me freaking let me freaking move. Oh my goodness. This bot is just the the bane of my existence, I guess. Let's see if he kills this dude. Alright, I can get revived. Nice. Cool, cool, cool. Thank you. From first to last, just like that, boys. Isn't that what you like to see? His clear does not seem to be that great. I'm pretty sure Highlander's clear is, like, ridiculous. And I think Highlander's just a better character probably for Dominion in general. Oh my god, the stab. That was beautiful. Let's go, boys. Ow. No. Let's let's fight up here. Oh, nope, I guess we're fighting down there. Okay, I guess they just murdered all of them. Oh my goodness, guys. What are you doing? They double jumped them. Oh, well, now they're back to two bots again. Man. Seems like you can't get stable matchmaking for some reason today. At least in 4v4s. Duels have been fine. Duels are always fine, actually, I should say. Um, I don't even have close to my second feet because nothing's happening. I wanted to throw a trident. Let's go, boys. Nope. Fucking turn around, you bitch. There we go. Oh my goodness. Okay. That's some booty hole right there, boys. Oh my goodness. My dude. I don't want to. I want to get revived, but I don't think it's that damn. Let's just go out and finish this game off, wouldn't you say? Um, we Maybe we'll get our third uh, feet and we can throw a trident at somebody. That's really what I want I want to happen, if we're being completely honest. That's all I've wanted to do. It's, just, it, it's a very good throwing weapon, I'd say. Oh my goodness. Nice. Nice, good stuff. Oh my goodness. Hey, I got him. Get dead, blaze it. We did it, boys. Ten and two. What a what a crazy game. They it wasn't that great actually, but I mean I guess it I guess it's a thing, right? It's a game. People are always leaving. It's usually on my team, to be completely honest. I'm I'm usually the one who always gets people with bots, and it always feels bad and makes me doesn't want to play Dominion. But okay, guys, it's just been a first impression of the Gladiator. So this is my basically my my impressions of him. Okay, he's got a quick play style that is very good for fainting as well as uh, canceling unblockable text because he does have a plethora of unblockables in his repertoire um, it's it's good for you know deflex are good um, your your toe stab is gonna be pretty good for people who are especially out of stam that gets you a free knockdown the zone attack is very very good um, looking at gladiator right now I'd put a mid-tier character because he does have uh, good initiations and can open up people 
I'd put Highlander probably just a little bit ahead of him just from what I've seen. I haven't played him personally, so he just seems like he puts out more damage and whatnot. Uh, you can counter Gladiators pretty easily. If you block one of his dashing attacks, it's a free guard break. That was to told to me. I had no idea. Um, in addition to that, he's he can get he can get punished relatively easy if you dodge out attacks and whatnot for for free GBs. Like you dodge the toe stab, you dodge the punch, stuff like that. It it can go in your favor. But they can also mix you up a lot, do a lot of whiff tech that is not necessarily known to a lot of people. So that you can use that to your advantage. It's definitely a fun character to play. I would recommend doing it a little bit. I'd probably stay away from it in four v four though. Highlanders just seems a whole lot better in 4v4. Just me speaking as like a whole thing with wave clear, with uh, fighting multiple enemies, with ganking, stuff like that seems a little better. The The speed of Gladiator is obviously better, but uh, I think overall Highlander seems to be, be a little bit stronger. Well, guys, that has been Tony right here. That has been Tony. I just sound like I was referring to myself in like the third person, but this has been Tony. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll talk to you in the next one. Peace. I know you ain't on someone like me Your eyes too nice, but you can't You too fancy, too empty And you chose someone you need